Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Riz Plays Games. I am your lovely host for the evening, the Riz. Uh, you can be the writer of insertcoinskin.com and a tweeter of me. You can follow me at Riz on Twitter. Don't forget that extra E for Eagles this week. You'll see why. Um, <clears throat> earlier this week, ESPN did something that I th thought wouldn't really happen. It's, uh, uh, they went and showed. Oh, oh shit! Still alive. Still alive. They they showed. They showed the highlights of Heroes of the Storm, which is, uh, for those of you who don't know, and honestly, I kind of just heard about it when I'm reviewing, reviewing this article and all that stuff. Um, apparently, like a, a huge MMO that's very popular. I think there was a PAX uh, thing on it. And just to see that having gone to the point where ESPN is covering video games for whatever reason, it seemed nice. It seemed nice, didn't it? Didn't it seem nice to see that on Sports Center? Uh, and this took. For me, for me personally, it took a huge step in in having the re the reception of somebody playing a video game. Uh, for for long, it was more of a uh, it was more of a uh, taboo thing to do. And uh, more or less only done in the basement whenever you old enough to, you know, uh, I'm gonna die. Very good. Um, so, good for ESPN on doing something out of the box. Uh, I, I applaud them for it, and it, it seemed like there were some more individuals who were happy about it, who actually work for ESPN. Uh, I know, like, uh, I forget who it was, mentioned that they should pl do more video games, like, uh, a Madden tournament on, <coughs> on, uh, on ESPN. Yeah, I can see that happening, you know, sports video games so, are the in thing, and most people know Madden, so why not? Why not have it in there? Um... Hold on, I have to kill these guys for a minute. Oh, you did not die. No. Like, it was a pretty good thing to have, and most people, part of ESPN, seem to like it. Uh, that being said, apparently you can't please anybody, everybody, uh, because Colin Cowherd, host of The Herd with Colin Cowherd, which can be seen on ESPN and ESPN Radio, uh, went on his talk show, his radio show, slamming ESPN showing video games. Okay, I can, I can see that, he doesn't like video games. Uh, so, but when I saw what he said, it kind of bothered me a little bit. I don't know if it was because I'm like, a, a more video game related person. 
or if it was just how absurd he sounded. Um, just a little tidbit here. Uh, <clears throat> he said on his radio show, if I ever was forced to cover guys playing video games, I will retire. He then went on one of those little jokey rants of what he would do on his vacation or on his retirement. And it just... Eh. It's like every bad every bad dad joke that you can think of he said uh and it was kind of stupid when you think about it yeah. uh <laughs> so of course he was crabby he was what did I say he was cranking the crabby pants uh but I was bothered by it of course I was the game What is the deal with these guys in the big branches? <clears throat> so, uh, he went on the radio show and said all that. And the thing is, if, if you don't want to cover video games, don't. Don't. You have your own show. Good for you. Here's a, here's a cookie. Uh, but why not? Like, well, and not like the snarkiness, but just don't cover sport, don't cover esports on your on your show. It's fine. Don't have to get all snappy about it. Um. But honestly, if he's just going to act like this the entire time, wouldn't you want to hear Colin Cowherd discuss video games? <laughs> oh, oh, why do you do that? That's stupid. This is stupid. You're stupid. Um, okay, so this is where I usually die. I'm going to get this guy first. I don't think it a weird wolf heart thing. Uh, also, people that have similar skills and talent. I mean, people who play video games have... So play video games professionally. I'm not talking about like what I just did there to that dog. Uh but your video gamers that get paid to play professionally against other players. Like I know Star Slayer and others uh go out there and actually play for money. Uh, because that's what they like to do, and they get paid for it, and they're really fucking good for it. Um, yes, I mean, just give me your blood. Oh, blood vials today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, most of those guys that play those video games, <clears throat> and I'll even throw in games like Guitar Hero or something like wow or, or league or whatever the heroes, the heroes of the soul whatever video game you have those guys it takes a lot to do uh, I know for, for from experience I know people who have played these games and Tell me about how they are now like a captain in their guild or whatever the hell it is. Um, 
and I sit there and I'm like, why is that a thing? And then they tell me why it's a why it's a thing. And I understand why. It's because it's it, 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 No, no. That was a bad guy there. Uh, but it just seems like those guys who are leaders and who have done better, who have done better things in video games, like lead a guild or kill a giant monster in Bloodborne or, or even, and this is going to sicken me to say, uh, do those fast runs with these video games. Like, I, I've seen, <laughs> like, honestly, I'm in my first month of this, or second month of this game. There are people out there who have already beaten this game twice. It shows you how much I suck at this. Um, but, going back to my point, uh, it takes hand-eye coordination. Like, watch, I'm moving to the right, I'm moving to the left, there's a bad guy in front of me, I slash it with my blade, sword, thingy, and that's it. it. It takes a lot of, like, I know where the guy is, I know who's shooting at me, it's down there. I'm not going to go down there, though, because it's trapped, because I can't get back up. Um, but, and also, just like, just what I just said right there, I, I have done this level before, I know where to go with good, with a good chance of not dying, even though I'm probably going to in this game a lot more while I'm talking to you guys, um, <clears throat> and it, just like any other, like, an offensive lineman, you know, last time you did this, and last time they were in this set, the defensive line lineman was going to stunt, and was going to the left side instead of the right. Now, you're going to protect the left side, like you're, like you learned. And, um, and I'm going to discuss, like, uh, uh, reaction time, too. Reaction time, they go back. Okay. I, I, I'm sticking to the ball, so honestly, that's what I've been known to do, and I know more about um, football. So, I'm just standing here. I'm gonna stand behind this guy while he's walking, and I have to re have to remember that this guy can do that really fast. Like, get up to the so reaction time. And this one, just like they would in a quarterback, when they know there's a guy breathing down their neck trying to get at them. <coughs> I, I can see both sides. I can see why Colin Cowherd is trying to stay away from video games. He doesn't like video games. That's fine. Uh, but ESPN ha also knows something that Colin Cowherd seems to not. said that I'd be okay with it. I'd be fine. But in a very nonchalant, very egotistical, very jockish manner, he continued on. 
and he even Fact that before, before it yeah, got popular, most people who play video games do it. he went on <laughs> and did the dad thing to do and compared games like Counter-Strike and, and, Count and Call of Duty and WoW and League of Legends and Hero of the Storm to the games that he played as a child. And one name that he brought up was Danky Kang. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try going to the right first. I have a bad fee. compared games like like that to Donkey Kong and one of the, one of the things I mentioned and I would like to see is if we have Colin Goward sit down and play what I just did and play for for ten fifteen minutes. That's all. Ten to fifteen minutes. I'm going seventeen minutes now, but I would like to see him play fifteen minutes of Bloodborne. And he will shit his pants. And he's not because he's old. Uh, and there is one part that I dislike the most, and I want to spend some time on. Uh, and it was the, the, the the part where he claimed that people should. That somebody should lock the basement door to my in mom's house. <laughs> it's such a dad thing. It's like a dad joke to a guy um, I I I remember watching a couple months ago. I had this special on. They had these this special on uh, HBO, Real Sports, with Brian Dumble. And one of the things they did, they showed, was... I forget, I know there's a college in Illinois, or or... I think it was either that or California. They all had... They got the okay because their schools made it okay for them to play video games as a collegiate sport. They spend money for people to play video games in college. Not in their own state, but in in a class. Uh, and, and honestly, I can. This is why I see ESPN doing this. Because in that same special, they went. They they kind of went above and beyond mom's basement level, uh, where they showed. It, 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 
Not grabbing me. Not grabbing me. Not grabbing me. I hate when that thing grabs me. That thing would be actually a nightmare. Uh, but. <clears throat> But it, the, that statement of locking the basement door, <laughs> gamers have heard it so much, and, and I'm not saying like most gamers aren't living in their parents' basement or in their parents' house or something of those sorts. But the people who go to college, the people who go to the Staples Center and sell out. Because they want to play video games for, for fun and for recognition and to be a team player and to do a whole bunch of other shit. Just to, just to single those people out and call them living in their parents' basement, you don't know how much money goes in to playing esports. Like those versions of the game games. You don't know that. I'm gonna post it in the description below. Uh, check out the Bryant Gumble special, the, the Real Sport special. It is really good and really open to mind for that. Uh, <clears throat> so, in yeah, there we are. There we are. And like I said. Those people that yeah. those people that do something like that have sold out have sold out the Staples Center. So I'm pretty sure a lot of uh Papa Shack are happy with that. That their their kitties are selling out Staples Center uh, basement there. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so, in, in closing, I can see where he's coming from. I, I, I get it. Uh, Colin is coming from the land of making money and getting viewers. And making sure that somebody who watches this show goes online, types it up, and says, hey, uh, Colin Cowherd said this, and there are going to be people who go to Colin Cowherd's radio show and listen to it, or go to ESPN and watch it, because now they have a reason to watch it to see what he has to say next about video games, and he's going to probably say something about video games next, because, just going to point this out here, ESPN is probably going to do some more video game stuff if they're going to show it on ESPN. <laughs> they already showed parts of it on ESPN. They're probably going to show more of it. Like it or not. So, that being said, I think I'm going to die. I'm not sure. did it. Sorry, I had to like figure out there that I was going to do this, but I did it. Now we're... There's supposed to be some guy.
guy around here. <laughs> so there's another guy here that wants to shoot things. And now he's pissed. Now he's pissed. Um, where was I? So, and I find it kind of ironic that we're doing this. doing this while playing a video game. Talking about people who don't like people watching people play video games. It's, it's kind of like an e exhibit exhibit. It's, hey, yeah, don't, if you don't like watching video games, don't, don't bitch at people who do like video games. Just, as you saw from IGN, and other they're going to fight back. And as I say this, I am not talking about this game. Howard is an, is old, but he's smart, like I said. He knows that with him saying these jerkish and jockish, jokingly, joking things, that he's going to stir up some masses. And if he were to go out there and say, I don't want to watch people play video games, it would have just been fine. But he wanted people to have a major rage boner about it, and he has. And he's probably going to get a few spikes at the end. Uh, so, my question to you guys is, should ESPN do more things with esports? Should they play Madden, like uh, Robert Flores mentioned? Should they go do more of a hardcore level, like with Heroes of the Storm, like they did before? I know, like, ESPN Aspen has... Or, e the X Games Aspen has had, you know, Counter Strike, and seeing that would be pretty cool. Uh, and I know e the the original X Games, I forget where, the, just the regular X Games had Call of Duty, the Call of Duty tournament. That would be cool to see. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you next week on Misplaced Game. Let me let me do 